the full court bench of the Azad Jammu and Kashmir High Court on Tuesday disqualified Prime Minister Sardar Tanveer Ilyas from being a member of the Legislative Assembly for contempt. Following the verdict, Ilyas has ceased to hold the office of the AJK Prime Minister and the Legislative Assembly will have to elect a new PM. He has the right to appeal against a decision in the AJK Supreme Court. At a function in Islamabad over the weekend, Ilyas had indirectly blamed the judiciary for affecting the functioning of his government and interfering in the domain of the executive through the grant of stay orders. During today's hearing, the court played three video clips of Ilyas and asked him if he was contesting the charges. Ilyas replied in the negative and tendered an unconditional apology to the court. However, the court rejected the AJK Premier's apology and sentenced him till the rising of the court. Defence Minister Khwaja Asif has said that Pakistan shares good relations with the interim government in Afghanistan, but at the same time expressed concern that the TTP is using Afghan soil even today for attacks in our country, especially Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. In an interview with Voice of America, Asif said that Pakistan had raised the issue of increased attacks by the TTP with Afghan Taliban regime during his recent visit to Kabul. Asif said the Afghan Taliban and TTP shared a camaraderie because they have been fighting against NATO together for the past 20 years. The minister said that the Afghan Taliban had expressed their determination to deal with this problem. However, since TTP fought alongside Afghan Taliban in the war against NATO for 20 years and in this context, there is a camaraderie between the Afghan and Pakistani Taliban and Afghan Taliban are not in a position to oppose TTP. Pakistan on Tuesday voiced its strong indignation of India's plan to convene meetings linked with G20 in Indian-occupied Jammu and Kashmir, saying such a move was self-serving on New Delhi's part. On Friday, India released a full calendar of events leading up to the G20 summit, which include G20 and Youth 20 meetings in occupied Kashmir's Srinagar in the neighboring region of Ladakh in April and May. Pakistan Foreign Office expressed strong indignation at New Delhi's decision to hold the G20 Tourism Working Group meeting in Srinagar on May 22 till May 24. The Foreign Office said that India's irresponsible move is the latest in a series of self-serving measures to perpetuate its illegal occupation of Jammu and Kashmir in sheer disregard of the UN Security Council resolution and in violation of the principles of the UN Charter and international law and vehemently condemned these moves.